What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, newly crowned WBC undefeated heavyweight world champion Tyson the Gypsy King Fury has parted ways after all the flack that he and his team have been getting after being involved, uh, admitting to being involved with Daniel Kinahan, a known uh, um, underground boss. And now uh, Tyson Fury and his team, they felt the need to part ways with Daniel Kinahan, who has been advising him in the UK. Now Tyson Fury has decided to part ways. I wonder why. When they said that there was no wrongdoings with dealing with Daniel Kinahan, right? Uh, Tyson Fury has a, a checkered background, to say the least, within the sport of boxing, okay? So now uh, Tyson Fury was dealing with, in the UK, when it came to the UK, he was solely dealing with uh, Frank Warren and Queensberry Promotions. And when it came to the United States, he was dealing with legendary promoter, top ranked CEO, Bob Arum. Uh, and now it seems like Bob Arum will get more involved over in the UK when it comes to Tyson Fury after firing Daniel Kinahan. And um, Daniel Kinahan was his advisor. So now uh, Tyson Fury, I wonder why he's moving forward. We had this guy, Martin Carefoot, come out. Uh, and he stated that Tyson Fury and his team uh, paid, uh, allegedly was uh, trying, meant to be paying him off to claim that he provided them with wild boar meat, you know, to say that's the reason why Tyson Fury failed uh, a PED test. Um, him and his cousin Huey Fury, uh, they failed the PED test and they claimed that it was due to the wild boar that Martin Carefoot, a farmer, uh, provided them with, and Martin Carefoot then came out and stated that he did not provide them with any um, bit, uh, uh, um, wild boar meat. He doesn't even carry wild boar meat, and he stated that he could show the receipts that that was just not true, right? And that he wanted, and they never paid him the money that they were supposed to pay him to say that he provided them with the wild boar meat, right? And then we know the situation with the gloves. Uh, we know the situation where um, uh, he had put, it seemed to be a weight or took the cushion and the padding out of his um, gloves in a sparring session with uh, Nicholas Asbury. Uh, Deontay Wilder has proof that, you know, um, there was the, his injuries are aligned with the proof that Tyson Fury had loaded gloves. Uh, you know, he in his fight with um, uh, Steve Cunningham. He illegally punched him, you know, was using illegal tactics and knocked Steve Cunningham out after being knocked down himself. Uh, uh, in another fight, you know, we saw he had clipped the, 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 the web on the thumb area for the glove. The referee stopped it and then told him, uh, Tyson Fury and his team that they had to then replace the glove. You know, uh, and like I said, to have dealings and to thank Daniel Kinahan, who is a known underground um you know, uh, boss, right? And and to be involved in, you know, uh, dark activities underground and the sport of boxing not being the cleanest sport in the world, I wonder why you decide to part ways. Because you have a lot of people that came out and vouch for uh, uh, Daniel Kinahan saying he was a clean guy. So if this was the case and there is no, you know, um, and you don't feel like... Um, there's something that you have to hide, then why do you part ways with Daniel Kinahan? Tyson Fury did a, a, a live stream in which he thanks Daniel Kinahan for getting the fight, the undisputed fight, over the hump between himself and fellow countryman, two-time unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua. Uh, Tyson Fury did a live in which he thanked Daniel Kinahan for, you know, um, negotiating and getting the fight over the hump, right? Uh, and if you have nothing to hide, Right. If you're not guilty, then why would you fire and part ways with Daniel Kinahan solely off the uh, hearsay of people claiming that, you know, Daniel Kinahan is involved in illegal activities? Because if that's the case, then Tyson Fury should want to come out and clear his name uh, with all the things that are attached to it, the stigma that's attached to it within the sport of boxing. Right. He should want to come out and say, I never had loaded gloves in the fight with Deontay Wilder. Right. The the situation with Martin Carefoot, Tyson Fury then went on to relinquish his uh, British boxing license so that UCOD, United 
uh, Kingdom Anti-Doping uh, Agency could not further investigate because he's not uh, a, a professional licensed boxer in the UK. So after Martin Carefoot, the farmer came forward and stated that he was willing to um, go back to court and and be punished in his own his own self in his own right because he committed perjury, right? Uh, but he was willing to go to court, show the proof, and uh, test testify that he indeed never even carried wild boar, and that Tyson Fury and his team were paying him off to say so. Tyson Fury then immediately relinquished his United Kingdom boxing license, so that you could that they stated that they were going to open a new investigation regarding the situation with Tyson Fury, the failed test, and and you and uh, um, Martin Carefoot. And then Tyson Fury went on to relinquish his license. So it's no point in you kind of investigating it and open a new investigation because he's not uh, able to box. He's not a professional boxer, quote-unquote, in the United Kingdom. So it's pointless, right? Uh, that would have to be USADA, United States Anti-Doping Agency, right? Uh, and USADA don't have a record of him failing tests in the United States. So it's no way they can open a, a case against Tyson Fury or investigation when they, he done nothing wrong on the United States soil. So with that said, right, this just uh, speaks volumes, right? Silence, sometimes silence speaks volumes. In this case that you now you part ways with Daniel Kinahan is a sign of uh, a guilty conscience. If you don't have nothing wrong, if you did nothing wrong and Daniel Kinahan is doing everything by the book and clean and uh, he has nothing to hide, then why part ways with him? Why are you bringing in Bob Arum to come over to the UK now and help Frank Warren uh, advise you and uh, uh, do your business over in the, in the UK when Bob Arum has agreed to, you know, being a co-promoter and doing handling your business in the United States. Now it seems like Bob Arum is coming in to clean up uh, some things that Tyson Fury has going on behind the scenes, and uh, uh, Bob Arum is being is coming in as the cleanup man to help you know navigate and uh, uh, get this thing back on the right track because Bob is a great businessman and Bob sees the writing on the wall and sees that this thing could take uh, a turn for the worse uh, and uh, if they don't get things back on track because everything done in the dark eventually comes to the light and it seems like now why are you parting ways with Daniel Kinahan after everybody MTK Global everybody came forward and said he's a great guy so why is Tyson Fury now you just was thanking uh, Daniel Kinahan for um uh for navigating and getting a deal done for a uh, mega undisputed bout with you and fellow countryman Anthony Joshua. Now that has gone by the wayside as well. See how that works? So let's see how this all plays out. But uh that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, or one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.